Eucalyptus globulus, also called blue gum tree or common eucalyptus, is a large evergreen tree belonging to the Myrtaceae family. It is native to southeastern Australia and is the emblem of Tasmania. Eucalyptus is one of the largest trees in the world and can reach up to 90 meters in height with a trunk of 5 meters circumference. It grows on an average 2 meters per year. The young eucalyptus globulus leaves are rather oval in shape, standing opposite to each other, with a beautiful blue-green color. Mature leaves have alternate crescent-shaped leaves. They give off a strong typical eucalyptus fragrance when pressed, which can be, for some noses, a little less pleasant than other eucalyptus species. Eucalyptus accepts to grow in acid or basic soil, dry or humid. It accepts poor and superficial soils, but it does not well tolerate strong wind, which can dry it out or break its young branches. The tree requires a sunny or half-shade exposure and offers better results when planted in a small grove. Eucalyptus should be planted away from buildings because of its shallow but strong roots and the danger of large branches falling during stormy weather. Eucalyptus species are largely cultivated throughout the world. The blue gum species, Eucalyptus globulus, is well adapted to the Mediterranean climate and has been planted in different regions in Spain and Portugal. Airy and light, refreshing outside, warming inside, Eucalyptus is a mighty oxygenizer drying out dampness and cold. Eucalyptus means freedom, vitality and space, space beyond boundaries. Its energy is rhythmic like moving winds at the top of mighty trees. And it conveys the potential to spread, to create, to nourish and to absorb. The color is bluish green as we saw, etheric and yet rooted. The tree is rising high and whispering to the breeze of the stars yet simultaneously drinking in full drafts the waters of creation. No wonder that ailments linked to the element of cold and damp, like rheumatism, rheumatoid arthritis, and muscular pains or pulmonary problems, like flu, bronchitis, coughs, catarrh, asthma, etc., respond well to treatments with eucalyptus. Also, derangements of the urogenital tract like cystitis and leucorrhea are treated with this easily affordable powerful oil. As a natural oxygen supplier to the system, eucalyptus is regenerative to the skin cells and enhances their respiratory metabolism, making it a good healer, especially in case of blisters and burns. But it is also a reliable ally against impurities like bacterial dermatitis, skin candida, and skin infections. Its toning, energizing nature can be of excellent help to treat headaches and neurologic pains. It is the free breath which eucalyptus inspires, and this is well documented through ages of folk medicine. It is the freedom also of human emotions which it expresses, the freedom of the soul's unrestricted energies liberating themselves in the flow of ceaseless intentions and creations, which Eucalyptus expresses so well in its amazing movements of prana, or cosmic energy, on the wings of cooling winds.
Plants live through photosynthesis. Photo means light. Plants synthesize sunlight into life. Can we imagine? These beautiful blue-green leaves of eucalyptus with their tiny little oil glands on the surface, which you can see even without a microscope, they capture the sunlight and change it into carbohydrates, meaning glucose, and so many other subtle molecules. Only plants can do this due to the chlorophyll in their leaves, we know this. And the carbohydrates which they create are among the basic building blocks of life and also of essential oils. In a sense, we can say essential oils and fragrant particles are part of the essence of plants. We know each plant, of course, has its own fragrance, expressing thereby its individuality, its healing influence, its sympathy and antipathy, its defense, its energy, and its joy for life. This essence is accumulated sun energy which we enjoy in concentrated form when we use essential oils. Between earth and sky, between the forces of matter and the cosmos, plants rise up in a vertical and horizontal expansion to drink nourishment through their roots and light energy through their leaves and blossoms. The plant really a living transformer of elements, of matter into energy, of energy into matter a concentrated accumulator of life energy and a wonderful form of cosmic intelligence. And not to forget, also man is a plant in his own way.